All right guys, welcome back to the channel and I'm gonna show you how you can add some really nice dynamic contrast to your images with only using two adjustment layers. It only takes a matter of seconds to set it up. And this is what the before and after looks like with applying this effect to your images. So without further ado, let's jump into Photoshop and let's do it. All right guys, so here we are in Photoshop and this is my best selling shot. And this is a really nice aerial image that absolutely loves this dynamic contrast effect. So to do it, you come down into your adjustment layers and select two hue saturation layers. Now from that, you're gonna set the bottom one to color burn and the top one to color dodge. Sometimes I find it's handy if you just come in and you just title these, just as part of your workflow, if you wanna adjust them later on, you just know which one does which. So with the color burn layer and with both layers, you just set the amount, the fill amount to zero on both and it will remove that effect. Now with this, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna build up the fill ever so slightly, subject to your image. I find with the color burn, you're probably with gonna add, like with this shot here, you can add it quite high, probably like 11, 12%. But with some other images, you might only wanna add it maybe even one or 2%. It just depends on how many shadows you have actually in your shot. So with your dodge layer now, you can build that up. Probably about 23%. So that's your before and that's your after. So as you can see, it just really makes your image just pop. So with this though, with the dodge layer, you will find it might really sort of pop out your highlights and make them sort of burn out and bleed. So the easy fix to that is you just come into your luminosity masks and pick a really bright sort of mask that matches where you wanna offer that kind of protection. So a light six looks really good. I'm gonna come in and hit apply. So if you look at our mask, so the problem with this though is white will reveal, black will conceal. So we're actually hiding the effect on this. So the easiest fix to that is come in, command I to invert it. And now we're offering that protection to the bright areas of our image. And in this case, the puddle border. So if I turn the mask on and off, you can see that we've got that detail back into our highlight areas. And if you do find that when you apply your mask, it makes the image look a little bit crunchy. You can always come in, if I select the mask, you can always come in L for your lasso tool, do a selection around it, filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and then just set your radius down quite low and it'll just smooth out that sort of crunchy sort of effect that you might get into your images. So now the thing with this shot now is all it really needs is probably a really good hit with maybe a little bit of vibrancy or saturation in that. And to do that, I've got a video right here that you can check out on how to create your own saturation and vibrancy masks and then apply them to your image using a hue saturation layer. All right guys, hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Give us a like, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.